That makes you dizzy as fuck. Just see how we warm up. You know, I was actually thinking about something. What were you thinking about? I thought Charlie? I had a dream about it, but maybe it wasn't a dream. Maybe it was a real maybe it was a vision of reality. I can't remember if I was asleep, dude. Bro, I went to bed at 12:30 and woke up at four. Okay. So I never sleep, so I can never tell what's reality and what's a dream. But, do you have a box? Yeah, a box down back. What I was thinking is, you know how they do like the depth jump yeah, and, and then come back up? Yeah, we can do that. But Maybe not, not go today, but we can do that for sure. Yeah. I like that. I got, a, I got a regular rogue box downstairs. Not going super high. No, we can do that. It's probably out in the fucking yard. I didn't even jump. Did you just miss that? <laughs> This one going in like Ooh, okay. that was a pre-workout. Oh yeah, already. Yeah. Oh, he won with the left hand. Yeah. I got all those in the back. I just can't move yet. You want to go to nine? Yeah. I like the one. I like the one hand or the one foot. See it, dude. It's so crazy because I feel like I'm not at all cylinders, but you know, still got something for the jump rows today. So we made nine four. Nine four. Consistently with no oops. Cool. Like easy, I think. So last week we hit Dude, this with a uh, 9-4 with ankle weight with that ball. I'm gonna try and hit it with a purple ball. That'd be sick. Or that or that uh red one. The kick ball? Yeah. Roll it up. It work. I'm gonna try and get this. I'm gonna try and get this purple ball right there real quick. Okay, go ahead. Cause I wanna try and get this one. Yeah. Wait, this is 9-4? No, it's 9. Oh, it's 9. Yeah. Okay. You fucking smash that. Yeah, that's all good. Oh. Uh, one hit. Come on. Oh, oh, oh man. man. I'm not too, I'm too far under it. Yeah, but you were there. Yeah. I just, I can tell I don't have as much. Oh. Ah. Oh, bro. That's where better. the gravity starts kicking in. You, you feel like you're there and it's just like, just out of fucking reach. Yep. Uh, I mean, I'm not surprised because yeah. it's wet and feel. <laughs> so I think what we need to do is catch a few little rhythm here. And this, this is our volume height, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But last week it was 9.6, right? Big money, no whammy.
Oh. Yeah, to lobs too. Show what I mean, Trey. Get the fucker, come on. Thank you! Bro, I felt like I was fucking flying now. He was flying. Watch the leg kick at the end. See the difference? Yeah. It took me up like another inch. Because yeah, now I'm seeing it and then I kick it and it goes. <laughs> I forgot that I forgot how to do it. <laughs> yeah, you're easily up there now. I would have worked yesterday. Dude, that one was simple. It's like a back down set. Try it, see, because that one inch is you're gonna make every one now. Guaranteed, see? I feel like I'm jumping the same height. Exactly. Oh, come on. That rim's starting to look lower and lower and lower each week. I still feel some of it. Some of it eventually, I just don't feel it at all. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I used to do it all the time and I just forgot. When you're doing the ankle weights, you're looking for that. Yeah. You're not finding it. Yeah, it's true. There. I like that. You're just kind of like, you know what would be crazy is if we had ankle weights that were like literally one and three pounds and we were able to use the momentum of them yeah. too. Give me some good ideas. I feel good, dude. I feel real good. Considering I couldn't walk yesterday. Yeah, you were bouncy, especially at nice. I told you I could feel, 
Told you I felt bouncy. I just fucking not 100%, but whatever. Still, still the volume I was looking for. Until I found that leg kick, though, I wasn't gonna get it, bro. It's yeah, funny how my body dude, game changer. It was a whole different level. Like you were just like. No, I say it basically just easy. floated me up past that next inch. Yeah. Yeah, it helped you tremendously. To get I knew how to do. It. I just forgot. All right, let's clock out. All right, yo, yo, Jump Bros, episode three. My homeboy Tyler Treadway. What's up, dude? Listen, I, I couldn't fucking walk yesterday, so I hurt my SI. Treadway been doing some more hip stuff and knee more stuff, so he was kind of beat up, and we were like really didn't know what to expect today. Yeah, and when you told me you had the SI, I was like, you know, we'll, we'll take it easy today if you don't want to go today. But you were like, no, nah, we need the progress, which was good. I want to capture it. Yeah, absolutely. It's good to capture the ups and downs, whatever, because it's not all. I expected it to be a down. But it wasn't. No. no you, you know what? I think good. we took our time warming up, too. Yeah, we did. Yeah, we, we tried to get that warm up down where before we always felt good so we're like all right we're just gonna jump into it yep. and and kind of go all out but we took our time warming up and and stuff started to turn on and you could really tell that your timing was money today that was the best i've ever seen it felt it's so crazy right with this performance stuff i can start to feel how i did when i was like 16 or 17. it's been so long bro yeah but it it's was... it, i got it there and see i think because no one's really seen it like i i know it but then i also think fuck i'm about to be 42 is it still there yeah but i think it is <laughs> it's, it's coming it's one of those things where you know you always say oh when i was a kid i used to be able to dunk and people are like yeah whatever you yeah. Know, they don't they don't really believe you yeah but like when you today you had that little flutter kick at the end that was just kind of like next level that was crazy because it happened so it just happened one jump i did it just naturally yeah, and I, yeah. I didn't even think about it and then i felt it and i was like i mean it was like a two inch difference probably at least oh for sure and it looks so natural because then when i asked you i said oh how did you do that you're like i just did it literally that's how you know that it was like natural and you've always had that kind of second gear that's um, what it feels like yep and, and was, oh. the um the difference I felt too, Treadway, is once we changed that angle mm -hmm. from the side and then even went back to it, it felt smoother. But like when we took that little bit more of approach, I think we had like one more step, but building up that energy felt like I could transfer it better today. And then the leg kick at the end and just the reps at nine seven. It's a lot. Yeah. What was weird is we, we were before coming in from the side and even though it's the same angle of the ground, I feel like when we're coming from that angle that we did today, kind of straight on from the side. Still, yeah, still like a layup line, but with the right arm. Yeah, but it, it, it felt like we were moving downhill. Yeah. Which was good because before I felt like we were, when you look at it, we talked about how dunking is all about timing and spacing. For sure. When you're looking at it from the side and you can only see up, it's kind of hard because you don't have a spot to kind of pinpoint where yeah. you want to jump. When we're coming at that angle, you can kind of get the whole scope of things and it's you true. jump up and it's a little bit easier to time your jump and kind of space it, which I think was perfect. And that's when you kind of dialed it in mm -hmm. and you started getting that little flutter kick and that's what kind of propelled you over that, that yeah. hump. Well, and I wanted to dial it up yeah. so bad, but I know that it was more important to make 20 reps at 9-7, make or miss the ball, 20 yep. jumps, to which we easily probably did 20 between there and 9-6, if not more. It was a lot. We This is week three. More than 20, Trey said. This is week three. We've looked a lot different in three weeks. And two weeks I ago, did a fucking windmill at 9-6 today, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> bro, two, bro, two when can ago, I get that for the gram, Trey? <laughs> we, we were... How long was the jump session week one? 10 minutes? Oh, 15 minutes? It was 16 minutes if we were lucky. <laughs> it was Bro, bad. And we did... Like an hour last week, and this week was like an hour at least. It was like 20 reps at 9-6. At like we were we were bouncing around height last week too. Yeah. We were messing we with the We made some with the ball uh, lower too. Like 9-2, 9-4. we make it a 9-6? The ball I don't think we did today. Nah. But it was We didn't try it though. Yeah. And it also, it. I don't know. I felt like I was running out of gas with the ball a little bit. I wanted to get some more reps in. Today was a good volume day. It was. It was good too, because we didn't we didn't spend a lot of time on the ankle weights. Mm -mm. 
Um, I knew they weren't a good idea for me today. I'm going to get some ones that are smaller yeah. and easier for us to on and off. We can both have them on at the same time. Like I got some ideas how we can scale that because I definitely think it helps. Yeah. I felt a little beat up today going into it. And then as I got going, everything started kind of clicking. And I felt like I was able to get up higher. And you weren't even able to walk yesterday. Legit. Like when I when I say that, let me let me paint a picture for you real quick. I was um, doing jumps at, on Wednesday gets stacked. One of the jumps without the dumbbells wrenched me a little bit. I went I, on the drive home. I wanted to lunge and there was no fucking way. I got in my house. I took ibuprofen. I laid on my back, put my legs up against the uh, couch, laid there for a while, rolled around. Last night I was hard sleeping. I went to see Doc. Actually, I, instead of coming home, I went straight to Doc Kelly's. Then was at home. I mean, I was in some serious pain yesterday, but it kind of loosened up. I lunged last night at 5:30. Slept kind of shitty. Didn't go to the gym this morning. But you know, I think because we took our time warming up and I, and one leg isometrics. I'm telling you, just balancing on one leg with my knee a little bit forward for five minutes, having that SI grab some stability. It, it actually woke it up. That one-legged isometric when you're not at any sort of angle and you're just kind of there, that's where I feel the most SI stability. Yeah. Because it's you're getting the full foot contact on the ground, Yep. but you're still kind of creating a little bit of imbalance and it forces it to stabilize. And yeah. I think you're you're getting a lot of you know activation off of that. I was thinking to myself, like I was working on the new Get Stack plan this morning, literally standing on one leg and typing on the computer, like That's trying right. to just get as much in work. Um, I got to tell you, there is, uh, and I was trying to explain this to Rachel. I think I loved this stuff so much when I was younger that like today and last week, as I can start to see signs of what I'm going to be able to do, dude, it gives me a lot of joy because it's so fun. It's really strange because I always cared about aesthetics and yeah. um, power, you know, powerlifting. Now that each week, I mean, we progress so much in three weeks. Yeah. There's no doubt we can, we can, if you feel better next week and if I just progress in my SI, like we'll do reps at nine, eight next week. Yeah. I could have for sure. I think today it, it kind of sucks because now I go to the gym in the morning and I'm like, I just need to work on my knees. I'm not gonna. <laughs> I'm not gonna do these curls. Like, <laughs> I want to do the get stacked, and I'm just like, oh, I'm still gonna be doing arms. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, of course. I want to be the most jacked forty year old white dude on the internet jamming to dunk. Yes, sir. I just I feel like we're dialing in because we've talked about it for so long, but we never we never committed. Fully Treadway fully committed to it, and it was kind of like you know we saw powerlifting meets. You had bodybuilding shows, so it was like. Stiff. Well, they're all kind of cut out right yeah, now, bro. That's it. the other thing. This gives us something to be excited. I'm excited about this every week, bro. Yeah. It's highly anticipated. I tell Tread or I tell T Trey all the time because people. This is still last night. One of the uh, parents. I've been training some of Ag's friends three days a week. One of the parents came to get his uh, his kid. First thing he asked me, "How's the jumping going?" Dude, I'm telling you. Yeah. Older athletes love it because. Whether they could or not. They always wanted to. They always wanted to. 100%. Everybody can identify. It's it's like the old meathead said he could bench 315, whether he could or couldn't. That was yeah. always the benchmark. Of course. Three and plates. And then yeah. dunking. Yeah. You know, they didn't care about squat or deadlift. No. But it was dunking and benching three plates. You're right. And now, you know, we're tackling it from two different angles. Yeah. You're older and beat up. I'm young and beat up, but I think if we can show that people that it's obtainable Dude. through the modalities that you're programming, yeah, and the stuff you're learning with Todd too, then it's it's a wrap, and and I think it shows everybody because you know you see you see the people on the internet that are doing it, and they're they're lighter, they're bouncy, they're young, they've mm. always had that kind of athletic gene in it. Yep. But when you see you know a 35 year old dude and then an Amish a, powerlifter. <laughs> You see them doing it, you're like, these are just two normal dudes able For to sure. do it. And even the the you know we're not where we want to be yet, but we're three weeks in, Bro. and we're we're showing we have like so seven much or promise. eight weeks left. I mean, yeah, we're showing so much promise. I think people are going to resonate with that and be like, maybe before they didn't think that they should start, but the progress that we're able to to Bro. show, they're going to start. Here's and, what's wild too about like I did that um, daily fire about throwing the towel in. Yeah, like. What happens if I unlock 
better than when I was 17. Yeah. I mean, I'm starting to believe that that might be possible because of what I understand about it too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I might not be able to play pickup four days a week and still get up, but like the way that I'm trying to find my taper to yeah. Thursday, um, eventually I will get my squat back up too. Like, you know, this was a little frustrating with having this SI thing, but I'm not going to fucking just punt it. You know what I mean? Because yeah. I think ideally just squatting double body weight each week, mm -hmm. easy, plus jumping, plus all the knee stuff. Like it, it's, it's wild because man, the isometric stuff has been the game changer bro yeah absolutely and not exactly like jake said but my own version of it yeah which has been interesting too which is just like everything else in my career i grab ideas from people yeah and kind of you know morph them myself yeah and and like when i was working with todd he had me doing a lot of single leg stuff that was it was focused around getting a feel for squatting because like just being 100 percent honest when i squatted big weight i never felt like I was able to squat it. I just yeah. kind of like dropped down and it came back up. And, and just, like, you're just an athlete treadway. <laughs> it was just like, I don't, I didn't never felt like I was squatting. Mm -hmm. So when I restarted with him. And that's funny you saying that, but you squatted 500 multiple times in meets. Yeah. And I just hilarious. dropped down and it came back up. <laughs> but when I started working with Todd, we were doing a lot of like grip with your feet and bracing mm -hmm. so I could feel it. That doesn't translate to the, to the jumping because when you, you know, when you're squatting and you're deadlifting, you're kind of screwing yourself into the ground. So when it came to the jumps, that's when you started messing with some ideas for the, the jumping specific isometrics. I definitely think there's two different ones. Yeah, yeah. Like there's a lifting specific one where you need to be kind of glued into the ground and get everything activated. And it's weird because you have to, you have to transfer that energy when you jump. Yep. You can't screw yourself into the ground, but you have to be able to transfer the energy from your body to the ground and get up. Yeah. I honestly think the weighted, the the standard of what I'm pushing for, which I just made up in my head, but five minutes at 185 on the slant board, and I did 125 pound dumbbells for a minute in mm -hmm. the gather, like that weighted like jump pattern hold, I think that's a fucking game. Because dude, I feel, my gather used to hurt. Mm -hmm. I feel light as fuck in it now. It's wild, bro. I want to see your week one versus week three gather because week one, your knees were kind of coming in mm -hmm. and you were practicing that isometric with weight. But what I think that helped you do was kind of correct your pattern. Yeah. So my knees still collapse in, but probably not like they were given way. Like yeah. they just weren't strong to stay in it at all. They weren't strong in that position. Yeah. You were coming in and they were kind of collapsing yeah. and there was no stability. Now you're strong enough in that position that you can kind of transfer the energy out and yep. come out and it's not it's not detrimental to your jumps. No. So whatever you're figuring out, keep doing it because it's working. Dude, that and um that the pure volume of the of the height. That's yeah. gonna be the game changer. Cause if we just keep inching it up. Yeah. And then when we go we're outdoors and we're making nine, ten, eleven in 10 then we need to go inside somewhere and oh, just well, give it a hell of a session yeah and it's fucking over well in you know with powerlifting you always try to build up your gpp yeah right which is what we weren't doing with this no we at weren't all. we were taking a couple of jumps and it's like well why am i feeling like garbage or why is this not working so garbage bro we it's it's jump specific gpp with the isometrics and actually jumping this guy dropping mic bombs all over the place trying to sound smart or something no it's good um all right so next week we'll we'll probably go uh, anticipate go nine eight for the yeah. volume yeah probably go back to the ankle weights i'm gonna get us some different ankle weights um and then yeah just not really change anything right take our time like even the cow was fun but even the warm-up today felt better yeah we just took more time yeah take time on the warm-up i need to get my timing down. your time because dude you were sneaking in some good jumps at the end and you were way more tired too yeah I was tired, but I was making them yeah. when I wasn't making them earlier, but it was the whole timing aspect of everything. Yeah. I think next week we go up an inch for the volume, just nine, eight. I mean, it doesn't seem like a ton, but an inch for that volume is, is huge. Hell yeah. And then, and I honestly didn't feel real like good about those first couple of jumps at nine, seven until I got that fucking little, until you little leg kick. You got to watch the video and figure out what the fuck I did. You figured so you it start out. Doing it. Yeah. yeah. And then I think, like you said, ankle weights. Because we, 
we hit them last week at nine six. Well, we didn't make nine. We didn't six. make nine six. But if that would be a great goal, if we can make nine six with the ankle weights, and then we can do our volume at nine eight, bro, that'd be huge. Yeah, we got to limit the volume at at nine six with the ankle weights though. Correct. Because if if it's we, like one or two jumps and that's it, bro. Yep. Yeah, because I took one or two jumps at each height, the two heights, and then I was like, okay, cut it, and we'll go yep. nine seven free. If we do that with nine six. That'll be good. And then 9-8 will we'll be good next week. Yeah. All right, Jump Rose episode three. Tyler, what's your handle? Uh, on IG? At Treadway21. Yeah, boy. All right, I'll see you guys later. Peace. Peace.